Hello, and welcome to Honor Yoga Triplecast podcast. I'm Denise Lachisic, Development Director for Honor Yoga. And here today we have Honor Yoga studio owner, Kayla Mirando from Fishers, Indiana. Kayla opened Honor Yoga Studio Fishers in October and is having her grand opening in January of 2022. And we're so excited, Kayla. Welcome to the podcast. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me. So you opened your doors in uh, mid-October and, you know, tell us more about you and the studio and how it's been going. Yeah, Yeah, so uh, a bit about me, Uh, I... I am a mom of two, uh, married for 12 and a half years, been a Fisher's resident for a little over 10 years now. Um, I actually was a previous member um, because this studio was open previously um, and I was in their marketing and things like that. And I actually talked about, you know, why I loved the studio so much. And, um, you know, I always knew that I would be a business owner one day, but I didn't know even the right opportunity hadn't found me yet. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like, you know, Honor had a, an amazing variety of classes mm-hmm. and the community was great. And I just had to keep it together whenever they announced they were closing. So here I am. I just, the opportunity presented itself. So, <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank uh, you. Was it hard making the jump into business ownership? Um, you know, it kind of wasn't, I, I feel like I spent a majority of my adult years in management. Um, so it was kind of an easy transition. I always knew, you know, owning own business was going to be end game. And then, you know, I, I did always have somebody above me in management, you know, cause there's always going to be the owner. Um, but now I am. you're doing a tremendous job I have to say you know your your client base your fans um your robust schedule I mean it's really coming together and you know I can't wait to see you know how the grand opening goes in January and what you're going to do you know this coming year because it's been off to a tremendous tremendous start Um, congratulations on well done thank Um, you yeah yeah. I really think As far as like the robust schedule too, I really am a believer in just putting the classes out there and I feel the right people will come and they will find you. Um, And I feel like one thing that I found really important uh, with our kids class and our tween and teen classes, you know, we have an adult class at the same time. So, and a lot of parents have really been receptive to that because they need their time too. And, you know, the right, the right people will come. You just, you put the classes out there and they'll find you. It's so true. And when you believe in the classes and you're true, you know, as a, I'm a fitness instructor and I really believe like you just be true to who you are in the classes and they will come and so smart to do uh, the class you know, and coincide with the kids so that parents do have that hour. Yeah. Yeah. Very smart. So, you know, if you could speak to your younger self, just starting out, what advice would you give him or her? Don't be too prideful. Um, I feel like, you know, a lot of my early twenties were a lot of pridefulness that I couldn't ask for help, you know, that I had to do things all on my own. Um, it's really overrated and generosity of others, I think is under, is underrated. Those are wonderful words to live by. And so yeah. true. Mm-hmm. Like, so, you know, diving deeper, like who inspires you and why? I would say, um, my grandfather, my grandpa, Allie on, so it's my, um, dad's father. Um, he passed away in April of 2021. Um, I was really, really fortunate to have grown up, you know, part of my childhood living down the street from him and my grandma Allie. And she was just an absolute angel. She passed away way too soon, um, in 98, but he was a world war II veteran. He worked in the mills and they had this small grocery called the Allie grocery in like our little small town we lived in. And he just had, he was so quick witted. He was always super active. 
you just, you felt love around them. Mm -hmm. Um, and man, he, so as far as adversity goes, man, that side of the family has just been through it and they are, I absolutely adore them, but he, he buried my grandmother and a long-term significant other and three children. And I feel like even a fraction of those things would completely decimate any normal human. Um, but man, he was just, he lived a very vibrant and full life. He would go out dancing and up until the last couple of years of his life, he would go golfing. Um, a few days before he passed, you know, he was able to call his grandchildren and he still had his wits about him and was able to FaceTime with all of us. Um, he still had all of his mind, all of his humor. And, you know, he passed away with his remaining children and some grandchildren by his side. And I just feel like, man, and he said too, that he like, couldn't wait to see my grandma again. And she had been gone for 23 years. And I just feel like if any of us had a fraction of that, he was 94 or 95. I can't remember. I think 94. And I mean, if, if any of us had a fraction of like that beautiful marriage and life and to live and then pass with and pass away with such dignity and grace. And I mean, we would be all way better off. Well, a I mean, lot of love. I'm hearing a lot of love that yeah. inspired you uh, no matter what. Yes. Oh, beautiful. You know, <laughs> so it, 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 when you define a uh, business success, you know, how do you, how do you yeah. define it? Is it money? Is it freedom? One of my five core values is wealth. And when I tell people that I kind of get a, like, that seems a little not so bright and cheery, right? Like, <laughs> oh, money. Right. Um, but wealth to me is not like piles of cash, right? It's, it's financial freedom. And you know, when I'm financially free, I can be generous to myself, you know, my family and my friends, you know, it, it affords me opportunities to travel. I get to see the beauty of the world. Um, and then the freedom of that time to do so, you know, when you have a certain amount of wealth, you have more freedom of your time, you know, as a business owner, I don't have to take PTO, you know, mm-hmm. things like that. Um, and, you know, if I can make enough money to pay my bills, treat myself and others on a whim, and then also make a difference in my community or impact someone's life in any capacity. Um, And that's what I do to make money. That is, that's ultimate to me. It's it's beautiful. And, and, and having that financial freedom to do the things you want to do and be your own boss is, 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 you know, is wealth. You're, you're absolutely right. So yeah. What, what advice do you have for others wanting to start their own business? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm fresh into owning my own business. So, uh, you know, the, I guess the advice that I would have so far, you know, just, and being excited about it, I can already tell in myself when people are starting to say, you know, cause when you make that leap into business ownership or into a different career path or something like that. I feel like you kind of, there's this trickle effect that inspires people to do some things along the way. Um, so as far as advice, I'm not necessarily a seasoned business owner, but I have been telling anybody who says, oh, well, I've been thinking about this, do it. <laughs> that, that's kind of my, you know, you, you get one shot at this. You know, we are, we are on this earth one time. You know, if you're on fire about something, just lean into it get determined, you know, get really clear on your vision, you know, taking some time, sitting with yourself, meditating, get clear on what you want, and then you will manifest it. You will find a way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then once you're there, and I'll speak to this from being a yoga studio owner is to keep taking classes there, like really immerse yourself in your business. Um, getting that membership experience for yourself, you know, walking through the doors, you know, and without, without paying attention to everybody's every move, like you are not necessarily judging them or grading them or picking up on things, but just feeling what 
members feel mm -hmm. when they come in, what they smell, what they hear, who they see, what the whole energy is. Um, and you need to let that space be where you find peace and inspiration because it's, it's easy to get burned out and get caught up in the, the mm -hmm. business aspect of, of owning a business. So if you allow, you know, your business to get taken care of outside the studio, mostly, um, then you can allow your passion for your business burn inside the walls. It's true that customer experience and customer journey is yeah. so critical to having that longevity member keep coming back. And yeah, I love that piece of advice, Kayla. Um, so, so tell, tell our listeners, how do people find you online? How do people yeah. find the studio? Um, where can we come take classes and enjoy that customer experience? Yeah. Yep. So fishers.honoryoga.com is our website on our socials. It's at honor yoga fishers on Instagram. Um, I'm working with a girl who's fantastic with our social media. And so we'll be putting out some fun stuff and uh, we like to keep things like really fresh on there. So um, that's probably the best way that you can find you know, new things going on or events. And we are in downtown Fishers. So if you're from the area, it is, which I know you guys aren't, but anybody listening, if they are, mm -hmm. uh, it is right behind the amphitheater, like where they do farmer's markets and free concerts on uh, in the summertime and things like that. We are, if you have been to a farmer's market, Fishers, you have seen our building. So Great, great location and it's festive and you're festive. I, I can't wait to see what you're going to be doing this coming year, Kayla. You yeah. know, thank you so much and congratulations on thanks. the studio. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to see what you're going to be doing next. So thanks thank for joining you. us today. Yes, thanks for having me.